This trick uses some CDs from our CD rack and a party goer. How you doing? Great, great. By the way, great party, man. Great party. Thank you very much. We have five CDs here. We have the Jimi Hendrix at Woodstock CD. It's a good CD. We have the uh, Blues Traveler CD. That's a good CD, too. The Beastie Boys CD. That's one of my favorites. The Beavis and Butthead CD. That was a good movie. <laughs> and the uh, Dave Matthews Band all -time CD. All-time favorite. All favorite. Which one are we going to listen to, Steve? Because they're all so good. Yes, they are so good, but I'll tell you what. I'd like you to take the remote control from my CD player, place it in your pocket right there, take the five CDs behind your back and mix them up. Okay? Now, you don't know the order of the CDs. I'd like you to take any one out and just hand it to me. Now, he picked the Blues Traveler. Go ahead, put it back with the rest. I'll take them, as a matter of fact. Now, I couldn't have known that he was going to pick Blues Traveler out of all the CDs. But remember, I gave you the remote control in the beginning. Why don't you go ahead and press play on remote control. Hey, that is Blues Traveler. Yes, that is Blues Traveler. <laughs> Better press stop. Why? Because ASCAP will sue us. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Blues Traveler, and the trick is compact deception. All right, party goers, here's how it's done. Apparently, we started with five different CDs. But let me show you the secret gimmick. On the face, they're all five different. Blues Traveler was the one that he chose. Now, he didn't really have much of a choice because on the back, all five CDs are the same. They all have the Blues Traveler cover. Now, the way you do this is very simple. Take the cover of whatever CD you want to copy or you want to force to them rather, take it into your print shop and get uh, color copies made. If we're using five CDs, you're going to want to get six color copies because you want to replace the actual cover of the real CD uh, with a copy too, so they all five look the same. Now once you get your covers, open up the CD and the part here where the CD usually goes in, that entire part can pop out if you pry it open. Pops out like that. And then you're able to remove the back cover, right? And insert your Blues Traveler cover in there. Here's what one looks like. It's Dave Matthews on the front. This popped out, and we put Blues Traveler in on the back. When you get these covers made, you're going to also want to take a black piece of paper uh, or something black and stick it on the edge to make up for the little bit of difference that occurs on the edge of the uh, CD here. To perform it, you begin with all five CDs facing forward, including the Blues Traveler one. Have that one in the back so you can flash the backs so when they're squared up. Display your CDs. Get your assistant. Now you tell them to take them behind their back and mix them up. When you hand them to the assistant, turn them face down. So all the Blues Traveler or all the uh, four CDs are facing up like that. So I'll turn them face down, take them behind your back, and mix them up. So, now once they've mixed them, they can bring one out and be ready now to grab the CD when they bring it out, just in case they bring it out the wrong way. But if you do it this way, they should bring it out with the, the cover the right way up. Or in this case, he picked the actual Blues Traveler CD, so it's upside down. If they pick the actual one, great. You can show it all around, and you can just have them bring the rest out and then display them all together. But they usually don't pick that one, so now I'll show the CD and give it back. I'll take them all back at once. I'll take them. And when I take them back, I bring them all out facing up, display them, and now the dirty work is done. You have them press play on the uh, remote control, and of course you have your fourth CD in ready to play. Another uh, alternative ending you could do if you don't have the uh, opportunity or the option to put the CD in the, uh, in the player. Another thing you can do is have an envelope with a prediction written inside the envelope and reveal that at the end. Uh, another alternative ending would be to have uh, all the CD cases empty except for the one that you're going to force have the CD inside or uh, 
the other way around, have all the CD cases have, uh, having CDs inside, except for the one that they pick, which would be empty. How'd you like that? That was great. By great. the way, this is a great party, man. I can't tell you how this is great. I gotta, I'm going back. All right, have a good time.